Welcome back to the channel, guys. It's part two. I uh, ran out of parts, <laughs> but uh, I kind of wanted to go over how I even started this system. Uh, this is my two-car garage. I considered this because it's close to my garden area. It's 24 by 20, but just this one side of that garage yields over 8,000 gallons of water, rainwater, each year in Arkansas. Now, this is a gutter system that I put on the back of my house, on my patio area, and just this area alone, 13,684 gallons per year of rainwater. Yes, I use the Pythagorean theorem to figure all the measurements and um, didn't have to get up on the roof, but these are just averages. Now, my new friend Brock up in British Columbia, Brock, this is where I'm thinking of doing my hydroponics. I hope this will make a great area, but let's go to the shop and uh, let me show you a few numbers. We'll run through them real quick. But this building will produce a lot of water off this one side, but I'm only going to get right around 9,457 gallons annually because this has a three gutter system. Uh, you can't see the third one, it's over behind that little building there, but the area that I'm going to be covering is only one third of the surface area of this one side with the system I'm putting in here. If I can keep these out of the system. But I think I've come up with a really good idea. And it's not my idea. I got them off of YouTube. Got a few trees in the background. So I may have a few small leaves from time to time. But I think I've got it figured out. If the leaves come down through this gutter system, there's a little cover on the top of my first flush that should divert the leaves and then there's a screen on the inside to keep out the mosquito larvae and any other pieces that are fairly large. Oh, bird droppings. That's probably gonna be my biggest culprit here on this building. But this will fill first when the rain initially starts. But let me show you what's in this little contraption that I built. I'll wipe the cap off here. If you'll see, there's a 3 16 hole in that cap that's going to allow the water to drain out after the rain stops. Now this is another gizmo that I've made to help keep debris uh, trapped at the bottom and then also mosquitoes out. But look inside, there's a rubber ball. Now this ball is the secret to the system. When that water starts coming off that roof, that ball will start floating up inside that tube and will stop at this point and stop up the tube. And that should make all the clean water, or the cleaner water, divert over into my first barrel. Now my first barrel is 55 gallons, and it's not gonna be tied in to the manifold system on the other four barrels. It should be my second flush system, the first barrel should be. As you can see, I'm gonna have a manifold similar to this one that's gonna run across the front, which is only three quarters of an inch. And this is a two inch pipe coming in, so, in the event that it starts filling this first barrel here, diverts over, goes into the second barrel, then the water should start leveling out in all four barrels. But if it's coming off the roof so fast that it can't keep up, I'll have a manifold system and a overflow on the end. Now here is where I'm wanting to put my compost. I'm gonna have a spigot on the side of the first bucket or the first barrel and it should go over into my compost tea system. I'm hoping to build one quite a bit bigger than the one that I've been using. This water should be clean water for my garden. Now over here, I have enough room for four more barrels and I may use that downspout so I can relieve the pressure off of this downspout, but then I would increase 18,914 gallons per year. Now you can use a shingled roof I just used the metal roof because I had it out there and it was available. But just remember to get you a downspout first flush. Because if you don't, you see all this black debris? This is what comes off of a shingled roof. Hope this has been helpful, guys. If there's anything I can do, if you want me to calculate your roof for you, just send me a PM. Thanks for watching.